right. Are you guys ready for a laugh? Look at this. You do a Google search for NASA images and look what comes up. Cats in space with tie-dye backgrounds. Wow. Yeah, this is this is a good representation of NASA. <laughs> and the very real photos we get from them. You know, they're so real because someone told me because it came from NASA. Right. <laughs> they would never lie. They wouldn't lie, right? Little serpent tongue. This, oh, and that's supposedly on Mars. <laughs> this is what you get. All you do is you type in NASA images on Google, and this is what comes up. That's, that's so real. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, is it any more real than this? This is this is the official NASA.gov Apollo 11 gallery. Now these are this is a real deal, right? I mean, how can you tell? <laughs> okay, well, that one, yeah. I mean, can you tell? Do you know how to tell a, a real from a fake? Look at that guy. I mean, that guy looks really sick. <laughs> Serious about something. Uh, they really know how to party, don't they? What are they in an airstream? They're just putting them in capsules. They're not even going anywhere. <laughs> like they just did. They're doing the people. They're testing the psychology of space travel. So they put people in a capsule for 45 days and see if they start fighting oh look at that <laughs> that's that's real that's totally real i believe it you know because i you know my eyes totally trained i i can tell the difference between a real and a fake right and i don't have to question if it comes from nasa right don't have to question I can just take their word for it right because that's really really wise look at this sorry internet some of your favorite space pictures are fakes see see how easily fooled we are people just copy paste post them around think oh that's real oh yeah look at that <laughs> the rock <laughs> uh, oh is that that is real I guess huh what are they trying to say I'm trying to say that we cannot tell. Sometimes natural landscapes are artificially enhanced, photoshopped, or layered with fake astronomical additions. Yeah. All these photos are fakes. I mean, obvi. Right? Oh, this is this is my favorite. Oh look, there's Fido on the moon. That's totally like Arizona or New Mexico. Artificially colorized. I mean, you know what I did one time? I took a picture um, on the sidewalk and it was underneath where the barn owl lives in my palm tree and 
took a picture of it. I edited, edited the colors, changed the brightness and contrast a little bit, and um, I posted it on the uh, Facebook amateur astronomer web's uh, Facebook page, and I said, "Look, you guys, this is NASA's most recent." photo of the universe and all those little splatters are galaxies and people were like whoa it's awesome they thumbs up my picture and I got comments and I'm like ha ha you know what that is that's barn owl shit <laughs> so that's what I want you guys to do if you're watching this let's get creative let's start making fake NASA photos and just flood the web and just see how many people fall for it I mean because basically that's what's happening here they had us in this under their spell where they can just put these photos in front of us and label NASA and everyone takes their word for it can't question NASA. The moon is too large. Obvi. <laughs> and where's that curve coming from? I mean, still have not observed a curve without the use of a fisheye. No curve. Oh, yeah. From the ISS. They're never going to show you the full ball. We'll never get to see a live stream. We're never even going to get private space flight. I mean, they've been pr promising that for how long? Since at least a decade, I can remember. I'm still not flying around in space. Richard Branson isn't even been flying around in space. Elon Musk isn't even flying around in his own shuttle in space. And it's 2018. Okay. So, yeah, you just keep hanging on to that oh yeah I'm gonna get my ticket I mean I see this stupid ad on YouTube create your own website with Wix.com and this guy is sitting at a desk and he's like I am making a website for my space hotel pretty cool right <laughs> I'm like, okay I'm sure that's gonna happen this viral photo of planets as seen from Mars was not taken by the Spirit rover as it's often credited to be, but was computer generated by the software Stellarium. The compass heading northeast is visible in the lower left of the image. Oh wow, that's not Mars? Oh my god, it's pretty good copycat image wow they really made it look like mars because that's so hard to do all you have to do is take literally any picture any picture you want with some kind of rocky desert terrain and put a red filter over it my god would you look at that there on mars like, go to the Black Rock Desert. Go to Burning Man. Take some pictures over there. You'll really feel like you're on Mars. <laughs> Bring a rover with you. Hmm. If you're going to show a beautiful picture of the Aurora Borealis reflected in a lake, you probably want to make sure that the reflected lake image actually reflects the landscape, not a different landscape that you stole it from. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Yep. That's how easily we're fooled by pictures. I mean, you just crop out these pyramids, right? You crop out the pyramids, and then you say, oh, look, that's a real photo of space. And then you put the pyramids in, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's fake. How do you know? You don't. I don't. I mean, this just goes on and on. This video is going to be too long. 
It's too long. Okay, so this is the answer. Twitter accounts, fake AstroPix, and Pick Pendant always tell the difference. Some of the best out there at helping you tell real from fake AstroPix, and they take requests. So this is what it's come to. You just willingly hand over the authority to someone else to tell you what fake or real is. Do you see what I'm getting at? That's not okay. That's not what we should be teaching our children. Oh, just, you know, believe Snopes, believe, believe NASA, believe the TV. How about you believe yourself? I mean, and the people who are telling you if your pictures are fake or real, they have a picture of a fake globe. You know, that's their photo. So that's just nuts. You have to trust yourself. You can't just hand over the authority to someone else to tell you the truth. Otherwise, all you're going to do is believe lies. Because, <laughs> hate to break it to you, but most people lie. And I'm finding this out, and it really sucks that sometimes people you thought would be honest are not. So you really have to rely on yourself to get the truth. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, here we go. This is the future. Deep fake, everyone. Deep fake. And, you know, I wonder why it's called deep fake, because it's also called deep space. Deep fake space is what it's really called. Can you tell a fake video from a real one? Artificial intelligence is emerging as the next frontier in fake news. And it just might make you second guess everything you see. Good! <laughs> because that's exactly my point. Can you imagine a world where you see a video of a world leader engaged in some kind of damning act, but you can't tell whether it's real or a completely computer-generated fake? Gee, uh, yeah, I think we're already there with the moon landing. I can't believe no one can tell that's fake. You just want to believe it. You want to believe it because you saw it on TV and then you saw all these sci-fi films that were getting put out back in the 70s. You went, you know, in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, you went to the movie theaters and you grew up on it. So it's the nostalgia that's preventing you from breaking out of your cognitive dissonance. And I get it, yeah, you know. Star Wars, Star Trek, it's kind of cool, space stuff. I was more trucky because my parents, but, um, you know, that is the brainwashing. It's deep fake. It's deep fake. That's all, that's all it is. I mean, if we can do this, which one is fake? What do you think? Which one is fake? Okay, I'm going to say, and I've already done this before, so I, I'm just going to forget all my answers because all my answers were actually wrong when I did it the first time. I've got every single question wrong. So, let's see, what did I say? Mm, I think, I'm, and I have a poor memory. It's a symptom of PTSD, but let's just say Trump. Oh, if you guess Trump, you're correct. Dirt fakes made that. Creepy. D Derp fakes is using machine learning software that made its way into the public domain via the dark corners of the internet where it was unsurprisingly being used to make fake celebrity porn. Ugh. 
The exact origins of that software are unknown, but it mirrors the kinds of research happening in top universities in the R&D departments of major tech companies. Okay, which of these videos is fake? It's really creeping me out. Ew. They look like robots, like from Westworld. More conditioning. Predictive programming. Okay. Which one? Both? Neither? I'm going to close my eyes and pick one. Okay, I'm right here. Oh. I was right. Again. Maybe I do remember. They're both real! Okay. Obama. <laughs> Putin isn't real. No, he is. I mean, she looks real. Look at the hairs on her head. Bit of static electricity. This is the real next to a fake. Oh my gosh. This is the real and this is the fake. So which one? This is the real and this is fake. Just think about that next time you see some NASA photos telling you we went to the moon. <laughs> Just remember that. I mean, if they can do that, they could at least give us a fake footage of the Earth spinning as a ball in space. I mean, they just went to Mars. They could catch, capture a little spin on the way back, you know, with the rover just, or on the way there, they could have captured a nice little Earth spin. They could, they could just make it up easily. Why don't they? I mean, th I can't tell what's fake or real anymore. Why don't they ever choose to film the whole Earth? Oh, because NASA always has the answer for everything. How convenient. Okay, I mean, if you just want to keep believing stuff because it's a photograph or a video, but I'm just not going to take someone's word for it, especially since I have never seen it from space. I have never been to the ISS on the Mars rover, on the moon lander. I have never been in a high altitude balloon or airplane. So it's not very smart to just take someone's word for it. NBA superstar Steph Curry says he doesn't believe astronauts landed on the moon. USC professor of astronautical engineering Madhu Tonkavelu encourages people to look at the facts. We got uh, rovers, we got landers, and we have tracks of people walking, and all these can be now seen using telescopes that are orbiting the moon. Oh my god, you should have said something. Of course, rovers, tracks, landers, Telescopes orbiting the moon, of course they only belong to NASA. No amateur astronomer could ever possibly verify that. NASA's the only one telling us what they're capturing on the moon with their telescopes orbiting the moon. That's not evidence. Hate to break it to you. I don't know if you remember the thing we saw earlier with the fake Putin and the fake Obama and the fake Trump. So, yeah, you, you, we can't tell what's fake or real because someone told us it's real is not evidence. Showing me a photograph or a video and telling me that's a fact is not 
a fact. It's actually a fact that that's quite possibly a lie. Unless they were done by the aliens, I can't think of any other way they'd have gotten there. Tuesday night, USC students presented work on why we should return to the moon in front of the second man to walk on the moon, Buzz Aldrin. 50 years ago, Saturn V took three guys, Neil, Mike, and I, and a lander into lunar orbit. Aldrin refused to talk curry. However, NASA invited the basketball star to Houston to check out the evidence, including moon rocks. Martin Greco works at Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena and also offered up a tour. We can show him how we actually done the Mars landings as well, in case, you know, before he gets into too deep that we didn't do those as well. <laughs>